I hope that the fucking speaker's working now. Anyways, okay. Ah! Babies. Um, fuck. Okay, let's do this one a little bit different. How's that? Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing. And for another Positioning Basics video, today we're going to be talking about the rear forearm. All right, so now that that's over, Positioning Basics, another video in the series where we're just going to be telling you kind of the easiest way to access, access a space, uh, especially if you don't have all the gear necessary to do it, right? If you're missing a massage table, if you're missing, missing an armrest, if you're, uh, you only have like one stool maybe and it's like a spinner versus not, we're just going to be giving you some tips on how best to place people to make it easier to do the tattoo. Cool. All right, so rear forearm. Where's the rear forearm? This is not in contention. Have somebody stand relaxed, arms down at your side. What's at the back of your forearm? This, that's the rear. Um, I've seen people tattoo with someone like this so they can lean on it. Someone like this, and they've got their arm behind their head and they're leaning over their shoulder on a massage table. I mean, this seems so complex. Not only does it tire out the, uh, the client because they're sitting there holding this super uncomfortable position, which means that they won't be able to sit as long, but also use a tattoo, you get a chance to like spin and move and they're jumping around, you know, like it's just, it, it just leads to a really tiring day. So let's get into the forearm here. Um, easiest way to do this is if you do have an armrest, right? If you have an armrest, and go with my good old stick figures here, right? If we have an armrest, what we're gonna be doing is just basically taking the client and we're gonna be facing them away from us, right? We're gonna take their arm. Now that's a really, let me just make that a little bit bigger. That's actually gonna bother me. <laughs> bigger head, there we go. This is kind of a big one too. Anyways, this is like my OCD kicking in. Uh, we'll take their arm and we're gonna bend it backwards over that armrest, right? With them sitting forward in a chair or whatever you've got them sitting in, right? Um, why is this the easiest way? If you put a good angle on this and the person actually puts their arm backward across it, they can actually relax and this takes a lot of pressure off of the shoulder, right? Especially if this isn't up too high. The higher you go, it'll end up engaging more and more muscles in the rear deltoid, which can tire out a client when they sit for longer periods of time. So if you leave it relatively low and their arm is down low, I mean, especially if you have a stool that can shrink, like if you have a stubby school, uh, stool where you can like bring this way down, you know, as opposed to some of the other ones that maybe sit taller, um, you can get down low enough where that tattoo is literally right in your face. Um, you can keep your feet on the sides of this to keep it stable because most people, if it does start to hurt, especially when you get near the elbow, if you're doing a larger piece, they tend to pull a little bit on the, uh, the armrest when you're using it, right? So if you keep your feet on top of it and you just kind of keep planted and square, almost like a horse stance in karate, you can just like sit on your stool. You can, you can just work to your heart's content. Uh, make sure that usually every 30 minutes to an hour that you let the person take a break. Um, holding a position for too long can end up causing their hands to go numb. It can decrease circulation, which when they do actually get that circulation back because you take a break, you go have a smoke, you go get some food, whatever, um, it's going to increase the chances of that skin swelling, right? Because circulation is going to be restored and those nerves that have been, excuse me, relatively blocked are going to end up transmitting all of those pain responses to your brain a little bit more effectively, which is going to in turn increase the inflammation, maybe cause some weeping and decrease the time that the person can sit in the chair, right? So that's the easy way. There is another way if you don't have an armrest. And this is like some old school stuff. You're going to have the person sit the same way, but you yourself are going to be holding that person's arm. This is one jacked up stool, but you get my point, right? All you're gonna do is literally like just grab, meat claw their arm, right? One side here, maybe even hold it up higher if you want to, and you just hold their arm. The space that you want to tattoo is gonna be where your arm is held on that, that per, your hand is on that arm, right? That's gonna give you a good stable space. You tuck your elbow into your stomach, right? And just rest it on your body, and you can just work from here when you need to move to another area to so ensure you can still get a good stretch because you can use that pulling stretch, right? We talked about in a previous video. You can use that pull, the drag stretch to get the skin tight and then use your hand to get almost like a two point stretch with whatever side is, you know, if you're left or right handed of that hand that's around the arm, right? As you move up and down, you just move your hand up and down. You start at the wrist, you work a little bit and you get up by the elbow. And if you have them up by their actual like back of their tricep, you turn their arm a little bit to come out and you do the same thing. You just keep working up the back of the arm like that. You get to the back of the shoulder, have them hug themselves. Pretty simple, right? Um, 
This is great for people who do conventions that forget armrests. Done it a bunch of times. Um, that's basically it. Those are the two easiest ways to be able to do um, like the rear forearm. Uh, there are a couple other ways. If you don't have an armrest, you don't have a low enough seat, right? And you, but you do have like a massage table, perhaps. Um, what you're gonna do is, oh geez, that side is totally dead now. You're gonna take a massage table and all you're gonna do is uh, get your person to lay down, but they're gonna be far one side, right? You're gonna have them kind of drape their arm over three quarters of the way. Uh, while they're on the massage table, we will feed these too. Uh, maybe put their hand down, you know, and then just kind of let it rest. You can use this supporting side of the massage table to give you a good sturdy platform to actually work off of. And it'll also make an easy access point for you depending on which way you work, left or right-handed, you can sit on one side or the other, right? To actually look down at the tattoo and just work. Um, if you have a high standing uh, massage table and you like to stand while you do this, this is great too, because you get them up about belly button, in between belly button and nipple level, you can just rest your arms kind of at your side and just work without having to bend over, keeping your back and your posture straight. Maybe you should add that into these videos, right? Posture is really key when you're a tattooer. Like you don't want to go into this hunched over doing, you know, all this crazy stuff. Cause then you have to get in the, the crazy curve backs that you get to see those guys who've been tattooing 15 to 30 years have. I, I've been tattooing for 20 years. My back is straight because I don't sit crazy when I tattoo, right? I'm always thinking about keeping my back straight in relation to where I'm at. And I think there's a dude in Calgary who, who trained me this. He taught me large scale design as well. We, we didn't have a good falling out, of course. We both were acting like idiots, but um, he was absolutely genius with this stuff. I mean, he'd been tattooing like 30 or 40 years and his back was straight as a board. I've never seen it before. So it, it works, right? Um, all these things that we're telling you as well, it is gonna put you in that position where you can keep your back straight. Um, also, when you're doing this, right? Might as well just throw this in here. If you're working in any of these spaces in the chair with a armrest or whatever, make sure that you're keeping all of your stuff in like reasonable space, right? If you're right-handed and you're sitting over here uh, working on your, how's the wrong side again? Working on your tattoo. Make sure that you're setting up your tray, right? With all your stuff on your right hand side, right? Don't set it up over here where you have to reach across or get up and walk around and get stuff. Don't set it up over here. I have a friend of mine who does that. She's hilarious. I love you. Um, <laughs> so it's like, try to always make sure that you're, you're doing enough planning and present, like you're doing enough planning and preparation to ensure like when you start the tattoo, one, that's gonna be efficient. You're not breaking your body. Uh, two, right, that you're like ensuring that you have a level of comfort so you can sit for, you know, 10, 12 hours a day if need be. And three, that you're saving your client money because you're not wasting time doing a bunch of erroneous tasks. It's just going to make you appear more competent as a tattooer. So yeah, that was a little bit more than just the reform, but there you go. Positioning basics um, continued. Anyways, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing signing off.